hell with a cockeyed homestead. My chickens have decided to start laying eggs in my toolbox. Ah! Okay, so today, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to build a portable fence post. Normally what I do is I make my um, fences three feet high. All right, yes, okay. So let's cut the, the tall one out. Then what I do is I make the next one one foot. And actually there's two cross pieces, so I'll be cutting two of these out. Now what you have is your three foot section, two one foot sections, and I've got this bit of scrap of two by four. That'll be just fine. Now what I'm gonna do is put this piece at the bottom and flush against the back edge and then drill these in. Please feel free to use pilot holes. We'll get it screwed in. These are three inch star uh, bit type screws. Now this is a one foot, this is one of the one foot cross pieces. I'm gonna measure it at six inches there and that piece goes right at the middle of this and then I secure it here and here okay once that's done Yay. <laughs> we put the cross piece on up here I try to center it up and it's flush with the top up here and for this, I definitely want a pilot hole. Because it will make a mess. Okay, I can't turn that, so I'm gonna pull it back a little. And yes, that's nice. That turns very nicely. Okay, now that I have stopped sneezing and the rooster's crowing about it, what I use to hold it in are these 12 inch spikes. You can find them handily over at you know, whatever, at one of these big box store type home centers. I use two in each. You can use three if you're holding up more weight. I only use two and I've got that big fence. So what I need is a hole here and here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start a pilot hole for the auger I do not know there it goes cool I'm gonna put this monster in here And because it grabs so hard, I put it up against this and auger. Oops. Okay. It's harder to do when you're standing up. But there's my two holes. Now these will fit dandily right in there. Now to use it, you put it up against a fence. Okay, see I want it here. So I'm going to actually just pick it up, put it in, reach through, twist it. Now it can't come back through. I put this in here and I put this in here. You have it against the fence. Yep, put it in the fence. Okay, kind of mush the bottom down so that it's close to the fence. And you turn this. Can't come out. Now, if you have harder ground, when you put this in, what you do is you get a mallet, you get a hammer, it doesn't matter, and mash this in to those holes that you made with the auger. Okay, I would definitely leave this much above, at least above the uh, the block because you have to get it out once in a while they're portable that's the whole issue so there's my fancy dancy 
Portable fence post. Cool, huh? So, I don't need it here. Twist this over. And I just take my fence post away. That's pretty handy. Now, if you want your garden in one place one year and a different place in another, you just pick it up and move it. Boom, done. And, I mean, with the spikes in it, I mean, dogs are not going to really, I mean, unless they're determined, they're not going to go through this either. See, now you've got a portable pen with, you know, like three or four or five of these. Now you've got a portable pen for a small dog. Or you've got a humongous one. You just make more of these. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, press like. Subscribe, please. We'd love that. This has been Mel with the Cockeyed Homestead. Y'all have a blessed day.